So welcome to our uh, first community meeting after quite some time. Um, I summarized the agenda points also, which were brought up uh, in the issue here on the top. Um, before coming to this, uh, quickly highlighting, uh, we have a code of conduct, so please keep this in mind. And um, yeah, anything we want to add today to the agenda, or are these all points we want to discuss today? I mean, if no one had immediately, uh, I think let's start. And if something coming up in the meantime, we can edit later. So uh, potentially, let's start with the current uh, summary. Not sure, Stefan, do you want to start? Should I start uh, on this um, about the current service of PCP? Uh, I, can, I can start. So everybody has seen we have moved the governance to another model like four weeks ago or something. So there's a governance uh, file in, um, in the repository, which basically defines uh, yeah, a committee of three people, myself, uh, Andy, and uh, Sebastian, um, as a starting um, set of approvers or maintainers, owners of the project. And there's also defined how um, a transition will and can take place when somebody wants to step up to become a maintainer um, it's defined all there um, we did that and uh, red had basically agreed um, to give us i mean permission to do that and to give us access to all the accounts like to the organization in github youtube channel uh, and other things um, so we have all the keys uh, to continue the project um, this is status quo, cool and we are working under this, uh, yeah, those rules basically uh, for the last weeks. Um, and we have some plans, uh, yeah, about the project and like the technical plans. But um, in parallel to those, we can talk about them as well in a minute. Um, some of us are also working on a text uh, for a sandbox at, um, submission for CNCF. So this might also come. Timeline is up in the air, but we are working on a text. Um, so this might come at some point. Yeah, and technical things, I'm not sure, do we have anything here in the agenda? Yeah, the, the 020 release is maybe around that topic. Pro is a big one. So I think we can just continue in the agenda and talk about those topics. Yeah, perfect. So one of the points which were coming up uh, today is uh, that Tuesday is quite packed uh, day uh, for some of the folks who would like to join. And the proposal is, uh, instead of doing it Tuesday, moving it to Thursday. Uh, so that's uh, every second week Thursday. I think it will be um, in the other week uh, of the Cube Stellar uh, meeting um, at the same time. Um, so. Uh, I think majority on Slack uh, voted for this. Um, if no one has any concerns here, I would propose that we move it to Thursday uh, from the next meeting onwards. So in two weeks, uh, so the next week uh, meeting will be in two and a half weeks. So Thursday, I need to look it up in the calendar. Perfect, and with this, Potentially, let's start with the, uh, one of the main work uh, we started, uh, getting up an own CI system. Potentially, Christoph, you can talk more about what work. Uh, I think you did most of the work uh, was done on the CI uh, and uh, pro stuff uh, and how far we are. Uh, I don't think we need to go into all the detail that went into building Pro. Uh, the fact is we now have a Pro. We're not relying on the own shift uh, CI infrastructure anymore. And I would call it good enough for now. Uh, it's in the info repository for KCP. If anyone wants to make changes to it, uh, please open it PR. And right now we're still hosting Cube Stella, but if I understood Andy correctly, um, he's in the process of setting up a dedicated Pro. Uh, for Kubestella, as Kubestella gets its own GitHub organization as well. Uh, but in the meantime, until that is done, 
Cube Setter jobs can also run in the KCP POW. And that POW is just a simple combination of two clusters on Amazon. Um, nothing special, nothing fancy here. If anyone has questions, please ask. But yeah, just it's just there, it works. Problem done. I I think we have like one or two repositories which are not fully configured to Oh yes, you're um, right. All, so... all of the repositories have been migrated um over, but uh, one or two are still left. I think controller runtime example code is still to be done. Uh because we just recently gained kind support. And I think one other and then a couple of repositories that aren't really that much used, like enhancements, friends, the KCP GitHub page, those repositories all currently don't have POW integration because I haven't seen any PRs there and I was told they are not that important, but they could easily be added at any time. End of message. Big thanks for all the work. I've seen all the PRs. I guess you spent a lot of time in that. So thank you. Thanks for reviewing them all. You were my um, needle ear. No, and you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Any questions uh, someone has to the prowl or to the CI step or? Well, I have one while we're at it. Uh, do we want a Slack integration? Currently, it's disabled, but it's possible uh, to send certain jobs in some Slack channels, potentially post submits where we build images if those keep failing. Um, it's the, it's not configured yet because I couldn't imagine how that works, and I don't know how to get a Slack token for the Kubernetes Slack. But if anyone wants to have it, we can just enable it. If someone gives me a token for Slack. End of you have, to talk, you have to talk to the team which maintains Slack, right? Maybe that's a process. I don't know. Are there other projects which use that? Uh, on Kubernetes Slack, I don't know. We use it extensively internally at Kubernetes, but for Kubernetes, I don't know. So there aren't that many post submit jobs in KCP yet, so wasn't that important. I mean, if it's doable, it's worth to try it out. If somebody has time, knows how to do it. But I don't. I think, think the biggest challenge is how to, how to get the token for the Kubernetes link. Yeah, I mean, maybe then the answer is it's too complicated and not worth pursuing, depending on how locked down that is. Because I haven't seen any kind of integration happening in Q in the Kubernetes Slack. I can't think of any, at least. OK. Then I think we, if no one else has any POW comments, uh, then we can move on to the next agenda item. Uh, yeah, there's a proposal to cut the next release uh, because I think also you, Christoph, did most of the work to uh, removing from the KCP core uh, a repository, the TMC, where we're coming later to it. Uh, but as we now have a uh, somehow clear state, uh, our TMC, um, I think it makes sense to create a new release uh, and uh, create a KCP 0 0.2 uh, release uh, so that everyone can start testing and using it again. I agree okay. very much. would be nice to have a clear cut where we can say this is uh, A, D, and B, C timing, more or less. Yeah, the, the question is, I think most of us are not familiar with the release process and what would we need? Are there any, any is there anything that we want to do before cutting that release? I think we already removed TMC from our docs as well. 
Um, so question is, is there anything else that we want to do? Shema, do you know the release process or how was it done in the uh, past or who did it? Um, I think there's a, isn't there a file in KCP release MD or something? It was documented somewhere. Just a long list of manual steps, basically. I don't see it, maybe in the content thing. So. Yeah, it's uh, in the docs part here. I, I think this is the page you mean, probably. Yeah, so MJ volunteered to do that, right? I mean, just take this document, try to follow it. The document is a great example of where I forgot to remove stuff because it still references the OpenShift CI repository, uh, info yeah. repository. So here, step three is, is not relevant yeah. anymore. But I think that Jobs are all still there. I think we, I mean, we released with a GitHub action before, right? And use Go releaser. And that should still be here. So not, yeah. not much has changed. Likewise, but copying the job. Sorry, Stefan. Let, let's just walk through that. I mean, offline. Uh, maybe. MJ and you can just try it and see where, where we have to make changes, what works, what doesn't. And if we need a, like a 0.21 release because the 20 release didn't work or something, it's also fine. Works for me. We could also take a beta first and try that. <laughs> it's alpha anyway, so. Just try and see, and document, update the docs. Next time it's easier. Okay, so we have conclusion on uh, cutting the release. Any comments, questions to that? If not, uh, one thing, uh, uh, we we realized uh, is there are some PRs open. I think PRs we're having around about 30 open or something like uh, 24 now open. I think that's still uh, manageable. But over 340 uh, uh, issues currently are open, and some are quite old. The question is, uh, what we do with it, and how? Uh, especially, for example, a lot of the uh, issues are referencing TMC uh, code. Which is not uh, there uh, anymore. And the question is, how do how do we want to go forward uh, with this, Stefan? Yeah, my proposal is just to wait until we have an answer to TMC. So um, we talk about that in a second. If a TMC repository exists, we can move over stuff. And my my impression is, in the last months of the projects, like there was a big project management um, push in Red Hat. So lots of the things there are probably from there, like there are 10 epics with issues uh, below. So all of those will move to another repository and then we can clean up. That's my proposal. But in general, we consider this to be like a valid backlog, right? All the issues are probably more or less apart from the TMZ, the TMZ exception, or do we need to take it like a deeper look? That's the question, I think. I think we should, but let's get a big chunk out of the way first. My gut feeling is half of them is just TMC. Okay, makes sense. And um, yeah, for those who haven't been here before, we usually did some triage call or some, some part of the meeting at the end, 10, 15 minutes where we went through issues, at least those which were new, and we put them into some tables we could do the same and we could also just 
pick a bunch of old issues and see whether we need them and see how this works. Whether that's too much, I don't know, maybe. Might be a good exercise to, to get into the habit of triaging. Yeah. Because I don't think we have many new issues right now, right? Yes. But then I would recommend that we really wait until we have this uh, TMC sorted out and this issues uh, moved, uh, and then we start uh, triaging the ones which are still there and taking either taking then 10 or 15 minutes at the end uh, of the meeting or having potentially one longer meeting uh, where we try to go over a bit more issues to clean, clean up stuff. So 112 uh, TMC at the moment which means 200, 200 something something. Yeah. okay so should we maybe talk about team c immediately because that's kind of a good segue yeah, and then there are also others global, global, in, uh, global, local, and uh, Ingress support. So I think uh, when we come to the other repositories uh, or to the overview of repositories, uh, what we want to potentially archive could be that there are more issues uh, later which are not so relevant. And yeah, let's let's move to TMC. Yeah. So just a short summary, at some point, um, we decided to basically drop TMC from the, from the main repository. So there was a giant PR from Christoph, I think, um, removing everything, all the documentation, so all TMC should be gone. Um, there is an attempt, I think Frederick is here and MJ is not here. So there's an attempt to, to recover the code into a new repository called TMC, um, but basically building cleanly on top of KCP. So KCP would basically be KCP core, as we have talked about that before. Um, and TMC is basically, uh, yeah, it's it's based on core, but it's, it adds stuff via Go code. So it's not clean plugin model or anything like that. It's it's building its own binary. That's the current approach. What I understood is that there are ambitions to make it pluggable. So to think how KCP could host such a feature without basically being forked, being a, a new binary. But this is a uh, yeah, more long-term goal, I guess. So the short-term goal, Frederick, you can say more about that. Um, TMC seems to work in that context, right? That's what you have done the last weeks. And I guess the decision here for us would be, do we want that as a TMC repository, like called TMC in the KCP dev work? And maybe market as experimental or something like that. I think it would make sense to have it. It's a nice use case that we, when the project was like reorganized, uh, no one, like majority of people didn't have a use case for that, but it's still a valid use case. And from the like requests coming in, I, I see that there's still interest in it, in using it. So I think it would be nice to host it under the KCP dev organization. Are there voices against it? All right. So I think we can decide to move forward with that. Yeah, any further questions for the uh, TMC?
at last point at least uh, on this, this agenda, uh, Stefan, uh, you created a summary of all the um, repositories and uh, also wrote down what needs to be maintained and potentially what could be archived and some hours question mark. Um, I would propose that we go ahead and making a, a decision per, per each repository. Um, or, Stefan, what do you think? Yeah, we can go through them. If anybody disagrees, uh, please raise your hand or just comment so we can go through them one by one. So HMC, I think that's the easiest one. Uh, Andy is here, some others as well. They have decided to move to Cube Stellar, is Orca, I think, right? Another GitHub organization. So that's decided. And there's a deadline or a timeline, I think, June 23rd, which is this week. Yeah, we're sure. trying for Friday. Yeah. So this one is solved. And then we have a couple which are maintained, or which I, I think we maintain and have to maintain. So code generator, that's um, client generation for cluster aware clients. Infra, that's obviously pro. So I'm just going through them. If you, if you disagree, please speak up. Um, if you have machinery, that's a very small library we have, um, which is connected to the cluster, which comes below. KCP, that's a main repository, if you go down. Then we have Helm charts, so MJ volunteered to, uh, to officially uh, own that, maintain that. We have client go, which is not a fork, but it's just a regeneration of the cube clients and informers using the code generator above. Um, the same thing for API extensions, uh, so CID uh, clients, which are regenerated. Same thing as client go. Then we have this controller runtime example. I put maintained there. I have a small question mark because I don't think we have anybody really looking into that. Plus we have the controller runtime here. So I also said maintained because it's kind of essential, I guess. Um, and to my knowledge, this at the moment is a fork of controller runtime. Yeah. So, I think we have to come back to those two at least at some point. Um, yeah, maybe we should talk to to Vince about those. Right, Vince is maintainer of controller runtime, so he knows all of that, and I think he worked also partly on that when Red Hat was still in KCP. Um, next one, Logical Cluster. This is our main library for the Logical Cluster type. It's maintained, obviously. And then we have a couple, or I'm not sure a couple, but at least this GLBC one. This is about the load balancer, which is coupled uh, with TMC. We have no maintainer there. So I think this all depends on where TMC is going. I guess we need this. We don't have to decide today, but um, we have to decide together with Frederick. He's in the train, so he cannot speak. And MJ, where this should go at some point. So enhancements, not really uh, a lot of stuff inside. We just started uh, uh, with one enhancement, I think, not long ago. KCP tests is um, the former Red Hat QE team, so they don't maintain tests anymore there. So my proposal is to archive that. And then we have two um, repositories where we wanted to connect uh, to collect um, links to demos, blog posts and stuff. Um, friends and awesome KCP. A nice idea, but the question is, do we maintain those? What is the opinion about those two? The question is, do we need dedicated repositories for this, or is it enough to have uh, one markdown file for uh, collecting demos, blogs, posts, and so on, and one for who is using KCP? Or putting this in the documentation or in the existing KCP website. Do we know why these were dedicated repositories? Was there a specific reason? 
I, I think it's pretty, it's pretty common for other projects they have that. Okay. So my, my, my gut feeling is um, let's try to minimize uh, what we have. And with kind of an add on, we can move those things elsewhere, like, like uh, yeah, into a awesome markdown or friends markdown or something. I would agree. Yeah, so this it's easier. Yeah. Question. Decision would be we archive this one and moving this to dedicated uh, awesome markdown files and friends markdown files if required. Sounds good. All right, then we have C L go. Um, I think that's a fork. Um, I think in the in the conversion prototypes that Andy did, um, he needed some some features. I don't remember exactly which. I think are upstream probably. Um, Christoph, do you know is it still used in KCP? I don't know off the top of my head. No. Okay, so we have to double check before archiving, but if not, let's archive that. Okay, and then we have the website. We have two things. We have KCPIO and we have KCP dev further down this GitHub IO repository. To my knowledge, one is the documentation, the other is the website. Does somebody know? Isn't one just a redirect to the other? Yeah, I would uh, exactly one is mm. on the I don't think. I think they're technically different. But this is something um, if somebody wants to clean up and simplify documentation and website, um, there, there's potential to do that. Because the website, we needed it quickly before um, the toy cube coin at the time. So we used some UI tool to create it. It's not the same technology behind. I uh, just looked it up. Uh, the the website, uh, the documentation, kcp minus dev .io is pointing to the docs.kcp, but it's in this repository, it's only a, the redirect. Uh, and the documentation itself is in the kcp slash docs repository. Right? Yeah, maybe. So I would say we can leave it for now. Uh, uh, and when we look into the potentially in the future, how to optimize or uh, if there's something to restructure on the documentation or general website, then we can look this up as well. Or yeah. So just just having a quick look, I think KCP.io is like the the landing page. And the KCP dev thing is the documentation page, which, as you said, redirects to docs.kcp.io. So I think that's why there are two kind of locations. One is the landing page, one is the documentation, which is generated from the KCP repo. But speaking of that, uh, how is this published? Does that mechanism still work? Um, I, think, I think that, that runs through GitHub Actions. Ah, perfect. Okay. I think there's a push, if I remember right, to which it. Ah, perfect. Okay. It's, it's pushing to the. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. That is. It, it's, it's pushing to the GitHub repository from the GitHub action. Yeah, and I guess at some point we have to. Um, yeah. Uh, redesign or change content of the landing page anyway. So I think we will come to that. And at that point, we might. So I, I wouldn't be unhappy if we get rid of this landing page technology and just integrate it into the main page as a docs page. If anybody knows this area, I'm not sure what you use there at the moment. Is it still Hugo or something like that? Oh, is it then hosted by uh, GitHub or how is it hosted? I think it's hosted by GitHub. Yeah, I mean, not the, not the landing page, I guess. 
or maybe as well, I don't remember. The KCPIO repository has also GitHub pages deployment job. So maybe it certainly looks like the landing pages also uh, is, is also coming from GitHub pages. Yeah, it's something to 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 revisit. I guess we don't have to solve it today. But if anybody is interested in this area, please uh, step forward. Would be very welcome. Yeah, the last one catalog um, that was a prototype for. Uh, I think it's steel I command, and maybe some controllers to have an API catalog. So something above um, exports. But this was really a, zo a super early MVP and wasn't continued. So my proposal would to archive it until we have capacity and the will to to build that seriously. Code is not gone, so anybody who wants to resume the topic, that's always possible. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think that's all we have here, right? That was the last one. Yeah, that's the last one. And at least for now, the last topic on the agenda. Any other topic someone want to discuss or want to bring up? If not, I think we can close the call. So thanks, everyone. Uh, Remember, we move the call to Thursday in two weeks uh, and see you all uh, in two weeks Thursday. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.